This is a freshly cleaned ferret enclosure. You can tell there's still like dirty footprints on stuff. Um, I have to wash or full on replace my ferret stuff pretty often because of that. Uh, that is definitely, hi everyone, one of the issues with free roaming ferrets. They get their little feet dirty all the time. They do not care at all about walking through their own poop and pee and then running all over everything with it. Filthy little marks that you clean up the best you can and you wash off the best you can, but eventually you can count on pretty much having to replace all that kind of fabric, tunnels, play pens, ball pits, all that good stuff. Um, probably every six months, realistically, <laughs> especially if you have, well, I have four in here right now. This is a freshly cleaned area. You will notice from the last video, there are a lot of things missing um, and redone. And yeah, that's because the reason I just said, <laughs> they get it dirty or like with the tunnel. And I'm about to probably have to add more tunnels to the wish list for this reason. They tear them up. They love to just use their little tiny claws and ripples and I'm super fun. So I keep a litter box in here. I've tried all different things. The potty pads I still really like uh, because it's a fast cleanup daily. We are trying a mixture of, this is just um, like the pine shavings and they're pellets. And so when they use them, um, they're super, super absorbent. It goes a long way, it lasts a long time. And uh, as they use them, the pellets break down into like a shavings and then you just scoop it out. So they're using that all right. And they're not playing in it and they're not kicking it out at all. I wanna get another one of these. Actually, this was off the wish list. I don't know if you guys remember a long time ago, I did the unboxing of this. This is working very well. It's working much better than the cat trees did. But the fabric, those were just so hard to clean. These cubes, for the most part, I can just wipe right off. So that's very helpful. Um, I have all these little toys, which again, you're going to have to replace constantly because they're going to roll them through their poop and their pee. You'll notice uh, all the corners that I don't want them going to the bathroom. I have their things placed. And so I keep food in this corner. I keep water in that corner. I keep this over here, which sometimes I forgot to check. Oh, there's some poop. I was going to say, sometimes I still go to the bathroom under it. So. We'll find with ferret poop. It's a really unique consistency. It's very oily. And so it's hard to kind of wipe up. And it also dries really fast into like a tar almost. So I have multiple cleaning tools. I have just like a regular dustpan. I also have a metal scraper that I use to scrape the day old poop. Cause that's all it takes is one day for this stuff to become like solid. Hi everyone. Now this is the fun part. My boots are dirty. The ferrets is they're very, very involved. They love cage cleaning day, huh? Yes. Hi, babies. This is so fun. They think I'm just playing with them, but it probably takes me... Hi. Hi, baby. Oh, so close. Oh, you're going to get on my shoulder with your dirty little paws? <laughs> yep, that's where she's heading. <laughs> no, I just washed my hair. I forgot. I have to keep it clean. I have to go to dinner tonight. Yes. So it probably takes me, I would say 10 minutes to scoop their little litter box and just do basic cleanup. Really, And every other day I spend, oh, probably 30 minutes mopping the entire place. <laughs> uh, so it's still not terrible. I mean, you hear that and some days I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't really have the time. But realistically, it's not that bad. I get it done. It's always fun to do because of them. I think it certainly, excuse you, uh, more work. Yes, it's definitely more work than having them in a cage for cleanup. I mean, you see them. Like, they're just constantly on the move in here. And needing enrichment and interaction and entertainment. And I think ferrets benefit so so, so much from having this more free, free range living uh, than being in a cage. Especially some of the little cages that I see them kept in. It's just really a, an inappropriate setup for animals like this. 
uh, if you have to keep them in a cage, because obviously not everybody can have this sort of setup. Hey, nippers. Uh-uh, be nice. Um, and especially considering how tricky ferrets are. You see I have the windows, and then I have these hard plastic panes up so that they can't climb the windows. Not everybody can have this dedicated setup, and they're so tricky that it's really important that you do have something this safe and secure. And so, um, you know, I understand, yeah. Some people are going to have to keep them in cages. You have to go to work. You can't keep your eyes on them. And uh, <laughs> they're all just climbing in my lap. I'm trying to entertain you while I talk with ferret fun. Oh, you're in my boob. Um, they just want to climb all over me. So I think at the very least, though, um, just get a little playpen set up and give them free roam time every day. That is still, you know, better than nothing. Um, and I think you'll just be amazed at how much happier your ferret is. I thought it was important to show you less than 24 hours later what we're dealing with. Lots in there. That's good. Lots right here. And then just sort of anywhere else that they felt like. So this is the day that I go in and I just individual pile wipe up. I don't mop the whole thing. You're dirty. You're dirty, but you're cute. Oh, but this is why it's so fun to clean their cage. They're just so excited to see me. Even if I am just here to pick up their poop. Right. You're chunky. Chunk, chunk, chunk. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. It's the poop lady. Hmm. I'm going through this box of supplies. Uh, anytime we've taken in a ferret, they just always seem to come with random supplies, which clearly I never use. They've just been in a bin. Um, so a lot of them are dusty, dirty. But if you wonder if ferrets stink, you know, they're all descended. They still have a very, very distinct and strong odor. This, this is your proof. I have three bottles of ferret shampoo that they've come with. Um, what's this? Deodorizing spray, quick and clean instant shampoo, skin and coat supplement, flea and tick spray, pet solution first aid support. That's not a shampoo. Uh, <laughs> ferret daily spritz, ferret shampoo, tea tree ferret shampoo. Yeah, some of this I wouldn't even use, obviously, and it's not safe. Nonetheless, oh, what's this? ear cleaner. But I think it's just really funny that as I was going through, I'm like cleaning out all my old pet supplies. Yeah, just really a, a statement, a testament to the ferret smell. <laughs> Side fact, for like a minute. Why? Ah, what are you doing? No, no. You're not helping me clean. Oh my gosh. Everybody out. No, babies. So this is big cleanup day. Every other day is the big mop it all, wipe it all, disinfect it. And I just have to show you guys what we deal with here. Hello, first of all, that, that they tried to drag into that tunnel. That is their water bowl mat. So that's exciting. They moved it so that they could poop and pee in that corner. They dumped the water bowl. That's their food bin. Oh, hello. That's their food. All right, cleaned, mopped. I leave a little bit in there, not much, but just a little. So like they're reminded the smell keep coming back. Food and water is refilled. Mat is washed and put back there. Everything is reset and we've added the pulpit. Don't go to the bathroom in there, please. Next day aftermath, they have destroyed it. Balls are everywhere. Poop, pee. I guess I tried to clean it up because I left a thing of paper towels in here again. I will never learn. I guess the one thing that is positive is that there sort of looks to be less poop and pee today. So maybe if I can find a way to like affix this to the ground. That will solve the problem. Unless I open it up and there's a bunch of poop and pee in it. In which case, no problem solved. Mm-hmm.
You are all very proud of yourselves. You also didn't mess up your food though. Hello, sleepy head. Sneak up on her. Mm-hmm. <laughs>